Line 22, 7B97, Z58C3D, Equip Potential Surface Geodetic Datum UFO Projection Mapping, 5G Well SETI. There's the alien radio signal. This is the Quo Vadis Geodetic Reference Frame Datum Coordinates and Equations Mapping for a UFO Spaceship Found in the Line 22 Well Data. This is part three of four videos. September 19, 2013. Um, I was looking at line 227B97Z58B, geodetic reference frames, datum satellite, UFO mapping systems, 5G well study, Quo Vadis International Conference, FIG Working Week 2000 in May in Prague Proceedings. The reference frames in practice will be the role of professional scientific standards and commercial organizations. It's by Paul Cross, Matt Higgins, and Roger Lott. The keywords were reference frames, coordinates, coordinate reference systems, transformations, international collaboration. And again, the website's www.fig.net where I found this information. So we're looking at the FIG fact sheet 5.501, the World Geodetic Systems of 1984. And it's, um, the short form is WGS84. So it continues from a previous video. Geodetic datum in general. The depiction of three-dimensional position requires a three-dimensional surface. A convenient surface to represent the Earth is the geoid. It is the equipotential surface of the Earth's gravity field that on average coincides with mean sea level in the open seas, open oceans, sorry. Due to variations in gravity, the geoid undulates significantly and a regular mathematical model is required for the calculations associated with the datum. An appropriate mathematical model is an ellipsoid or spheroid. Geodetic datum tend to use ellipsoids which best resemble the geoid in the area of interest. An example of the spatial relationship between a local datum, a global datum, and the geoid is represented in the following figure. So this shows global datum GS84 best fit globally, which is red. The green is local datum best fits local area of interest. And blue is the geoid mean sea level. Prior to the development of space-based measurement systems, locally defined geodetic data were sufficient. However, satellite positioning systems require a single global geodetic data and GPS, GLONASS, and other space-based measurement techniques have had some fundamental influences on data definition and use. Satellites move around the center of mass of the Earth and require a data which is geocentric. Their global nature has meant that what has previously been considered geodetic science is having increasing importance in day-to-day -day surveying. Height from these systems is measured above the ellipsoid, which has required better geoid models. And there has been a tendency to revise local working datum to be more compatible with measurements from systems such as GPS and GLONASS. The three-dimensional nature has led to a need to closely relate horizontal and vertical datum. And that's on the blog www.fig.net. The PDF data will continue in the next video. Thanks for watching and it will be the final one about this particular topic.